Today I'm going to be going over the activation plank. Many are super familiar with the regular plank. It's an exercise I see commonly done improperly, placing a lot of strain on the lower back. So today I'm going to be going over how you can actually alleviate that pain, activate your abdominal core a little bit um, more efficiently, and overall get more out of the exercise, the whole purpose of doing it. So I start off, I like having like a mat to go underneath my elbows. That way um, I don't bruise my elbows up. I'm a big baby about that. You want to get down on the mat, elbows on the, on the mat. As you raise yourself up into the plank position, this is going to be what I call the relaxed plank position. And to activate the plank, you're going to drive your elbows and feet into the ground while squeezing the glutes like so. And then you'll relax, come out of that. And then activate again, drive the elbows into the ground, feet into the ground, and squeeze the glutes. And then relax. Typically, I'll program this in where you'll do five seconds of an activation of driving the elbows and feet and squeezing the glutes. Five second hold, and then you'll have five seconds of a relaxation. Five seconds activation. Repeat that for about a total of 30 seconds. That way you're getting the extension and the contraction of the abs while stabilizing at the same time. It's going to light up your CNS. It's going to um, require so much more activation of the cores than if you were just to get into a plank and allow yourself to just um, stationary hold that position.